Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and today we are back with a new tropical franchise episode. It took a little bit more time because my computer broke down, but we are now at my new computer with a 4K monitor, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I have no idea if you guys can tell the difference, but I can definitely, and it looks so beautiful. And we have a greenhouse right over here, something that I really wanted to build with the uh, new conservation pack. This, uh, all props go to Eben, because Eben did this for Koali Zoo, and I absolutely loved it. So I just wanted to use that for one of my own zoos. I'm probably going to use it very often because I absolutely love it as some kind of cute little wallpaper or something like that. But yeah, look at this, you guys. Isn't this just awesome that we can now create like this awesome greenhouse? Now, obviously no one is going to use this. But it just looks cool, doesn't it? I, I don't know how realistic this all is, but that doesn't matter. I just had so much fun with uh, building this. And obviously you can also now download a few of these uh, plants or things and stuff and these storage rags and uh, definitely go and have a look at the collection list because I did upload a lot of new things to that. So yes, well, obviously we do not only have a greenhouse, uh, we have a lot more right over here. There is a little keeper's hut here, which actually is really cute if uh, people are going to use that or keepers are going to use that. So it feels a little bit that like they're getting their food from the greenhouse or something like that. I do really like that idea at least. But yeah, we now have, like, I did not finish this uh, yet. We still need to work on the rhino habitat. But this whole area now really looks a lot better, to be honest. So when we would go to this particular area, we have a lot of different staff buildings. There is also a bigger keeper's gate and a bigger uh, staff building. So this definitely would be, like, a main area here for the staff. I think this is pretty much in the middle as well. So I think it totally makes sense to have this bigger staff area right over here. And then if we move a further, like here is obviously the entrance for the tapers and the otters and right over here for the rhinos. And then if we continue, because of course I did use more of the conservation pack, we have a lot of other stuff like crates and stuff uh, right over here. Just a little storage area as well for our staff to be able to use. And I, I really do like how this has turned out. It's pretty useless, but it just gives that extra dimension to our, our, our city zoo. I want to say to our zoo in general. Like I, I just, I just absolutely love it. Like these wall tabs and a water hose here so they can clean some stuff as well. I think it's just fantastic. And this whole building, you can, including the greenhouse, you can download yourself. The only thing that's not included is a trading center right over here. So if you want to use this door in the back, you can just add a trading center behind it and then use this to your likings if you want to. And then we have some little signs right over here that the guests are knowing that they are not uh, allowed to go there, I guess. Other than that, there has not been any changes. It's still pouring rain in our tropical zoo, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, we still have a lot of stuff to do. We have right now 40,000. <gasps> are we going to see that? Did you already do... Oh, we missed it! No, we missed it! But we still need to work on this barn. Oh, look at these guests all sitting here on the inside. They're just resting, I guess, because of the long walk that they did uh, all the way to here. I like that. I like that. I think we definitely need to take care of our guests a little bit more, make sure that they have more benches to rest. Maybe we can just add a few right over here just for now like we're, we're gonna redo this area anyways but i i can see 
that these guests are all just super tired and stuff. All right, let's have a look. Oh, 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 there is a problem here with a work roster. Did I not make one? Chevalsky's horse. I have a staff room. Oh, I did not add the... <laughs> that is not really that smart, is it, lady? <laughs> did not add the habitat in there. That should now be working properly. So that is not going to be an issue. Then we have mechanic cannot reach. Okay, so maybe I should also add... Yeah, this probably is not added into the everything work roster. So that was also an issue. Now both messages are gone. And what do we have right over here? Do we have any... No, guest numbers have at least 2,500. You know what? We could actually maybe put that up. A little bit now so we're gonna go for 2500 guests oh, souvenirs we actually do not have any souvenirs we do not have any information stands which is something that we definitely need to be working on our flamingos are doing pretty well right now let's have a look at all our animals just real quick just to see if everything is going well their social need, oh, man, they can have so many. I think it's 500 or something in their habitat. So they are definitely not going to complain about that, I'm guessing. So let's have a look here at our fennec fox habitat. Because I do think... Can you <laughs> stop running here? I do think... Yes, okay. So they can have quite some fennec foxes in one house hat and i absolutely love that so we did give uh these male adults now all contraceptives like i do not really think that they would be doing anything with mommy but just in case <laughs> i mean you know so can we just check her and see are you pregnant by any chance you are not pregnant at the moment but that that's gonna be all right i think this habitat is big enough. Oh, look at them all. It's big enough for some more babies in the future, which is going to be awesome. I don't think... I, I think this is now low enough. So we do not have any water issues or like swimming animation issues anymore. I, I think the Fennec Fox should not be swimming maybe. And maybe that is why it's causing some kind of error. But this should be low enough for them to be uh, drinking some water instead of using the ugly pipe. Oh man, you're so adorable. <laughs> I love these guys so much. Right, okay, let's have a look at our otters and our tapirs, which should be here on the other side. Making a lot of noise. Oh, hello! Hi, cutie. <laughs> I do think that what we did with the one-sided... Oh, look at that! A one-sided glass right over here and like the viewing gallery here in the back. I think that just fixed our issues with the stress and all these animals. So I'm actually really happy with that because uh, we did not see any stress messages at all anymore. They might be a little bit stressed, but... It's not that bad anymore, so I, I think this is good. I think this definitely is the way to go for. Let's have a look. Oh, wait. Let's have a look first at your statistics. Other than the stress social group, everything is like just perfect almost. Oh, look at you. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> All right, so 95% is definitely uh, looking perfect. So let's see. Also, ooh, the space is not that well. Oh, the deep water is an issue. Why is that? Because this, this, this should not be an issue. Okay, let's play the game. Sometimes if you just remove one or two things... Then it will just recalculate. Can we just look at the otters again? It will recalculate their... Yeah, you see, I just removed these stones. I'm going to put them back with Ctrl Z. And everything is already good again. So that was just an error that sometimes, unfortunately, happens 
Uh, nutrition, last meal quality. Oh, wait a second. We can, I think by now, upgrade that. Oh, it is already a grade three. What is going on there then? I actually do not know. Wait a second. We have a young adult which grew up. So I think I should give you contraceptives. But they are not having an issue with their adult population. That should be... Oh, look at that. Oh, I... <laughs> For a second, I thought that I was a tape here going nuts in the water. But you are also swimming in the water and enjoying it. Which is a good thing. But yeah, I, I do think that this is definitely very helpful regarding their stress and stuff. So I'm just super happy with that. Let's have a quick look at the tigers right over here. We should have three cups. 100%! Like, for real! It's not just perfect. Like, really perfect. Are these, like, the most popular animals in our zoo? Yes, they are. That's just amazing. We actually could do maybe a little bit of marketing in here. I actually do I never play with that too much. We should have space for more guests in here. Maybe we should just go for... Is that here? Yes, finances. Uh, we have quite some money at this point. So maybe we should just go high impact marketing. 5,000 for one year? Just do it. Just do it. I don't know how this is gonna go or like if, if we are going to get like tons of guests in here now. But it's only a 2,500 max. So I think that's gonna be good. Hello, beauty. Too bad we did not get any uh, white Bengal tiger cups. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, maybe maybe we should look into another adult that is white for that. I'm not really sure, what do you guys think about that? I do think they are just so freaking beautiful. If, if we would have just, just a little look at the training center and if we would go to Bengal Tiger, what? <gasps> That's not actually that expensive. This is a male, so we would need a female, a white. 1900 is a little bit more expensive than I thought. And this is also female. 1500. <gasps> 4.1 years old. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I, I bought a white female. Ah, but... Okay, we're, we're gonna keep the white female in the training center for now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not... Okay, maybe when the when the little ones grow up, then we will be switching the normal male with a white female. Let's just let's just do that, okay? I just I don't know. I just never played around with that, so maybe we should just try that. Animal is hungry. Oh, is Jastrowski's horse is not doing so well actually. Offspring due to October twenty three. Now we do have slowed aging for like two and a half times i think it is right now uh animals hungry okay can we call a keeper okay urgently oh do we maybe oh maybe that's why okay so let's see we can no not a, not a caretaker i want to have another keeper because i have the feeling that i did not add a keeper to the work zone of the shafalski's horse you see, there's no staff, so that should be no work zone. So we're gonna add you to the Shafalski's horse. There actually is one over here preparing food, has a high workload. You're like, you do not have a work zone and so you have very high workload. I, I think this is the one that was preparing food for the Shavalski's horse. I, I will just add you in everything for now because I do not think that we need to select it. Maybe, maybe I did hire that one <laughs> for the Shavalski's horse, but I just forgot to select it. Look how beautiful they look. My goodness. I absolutely love these horses. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was... <laughs> Stop walking through my horses! Don't do that. Stop doing that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, animal is hungry. This should be good now. Wait, do we not have enough? 
This should be filled now. No, there's a keeper. I, is there a keeper still making food here? Who is urgently assigned? What? Can we see? Locate the keeper. Oh, you're you're walking in the habitat. Of course you are. Oh, look at that horse being super excited. <laughs> okay, so you are filling all the enrichment items. So I can't work anymore. I need to, to rest. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, wait. We can uh, we can actually just uh, go and train our staff. Three thousand. Let's go and do that. And uh, we're gonna raise some salaries here with fifty for. All of them because we have some money here and we appreciate all our workers in our zoo. So let's go and do that. Uh, now the food should be good. We have this barrel, which is already empty. Are you hungry? Oh, no, you're not hungry. Last meal quality. Oh, right. We need to make sure that we have research going on for our animals. We actually do not have any vag doing any research here. So I'm just going to put you onto the Shervalsky's horse. Now I do wonder, where did I put my research center? Was that right over here? Because obviously this is a lot further away that you want it to be. But we should be having more research centers. So if I'm correct, facilities staff quarantine research we have two research centers okay so there is one right over here and there is one right over here which are obviously a little bit too far away we we have some money right now so i'm not too worried about that i'm going to add a staff facility and i'm gonna add a research center right in this little corner right over here and then I'm just going to add this to the... I think everything will be fine. Because I think the vets are all selected in the... Actually, that is also a thing. I, I would not really do that too quickly. But having a vet, like a veterinarian here taking care of all these animals. Then have another veterinarian here taking care of these animals, etc. That would also be a thing. Like working with more work zones like that. That would definitely also be a thing. But for now, I think uh, I think this is all going well. These animals, the last meal quality needs to go up. We just started the research, so that's not... Is that like hay on hay? Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, we're getting some offspring here. Oh, oh, that went actually fast because she was not pregnant when we just looked. And now she is already getting some offspring. Oh, so she is pregnant. Oh, there is... <laughs> It is evident. Okay, let's see how many. How many shall we get? How many will we see? Uh, will it be three males again? I mean, for real, we have seen so many males at this point. Tell me, you're a little female. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're just so, still too cute. I cannot help it. Three again? You serious? Three again? It's a male. It's a female. And another female! We have two little girls here! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Look how adorable they look! Finally! Some females! So are they still happy with the amount of animals in the habitat? I think they are. I think this is all going really well. Oh my goodness, there are so many in here! absolutely love this guys oh this is just too amazing and they're <laughs> oh okay well this is all right remove this uh, animal talking point to here so that should be good if we just check real quick like the education in our zoo uh buildings negative impact guest education coverage i'm just going to pause the game for just a second we have some education right over here I think it's fine because we have a path here and a path here. So regarding the Fennec Fox, I think all the guests will be properly educated. For the Flamingos, the guests will walk all the way. Either way, they, they will be educated, I think. I, I think that it's just a matter of walking through here, right? I, I think so. Wait, we should actually just make 
this coverage a little bit bigger or just move this just slightly to here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Like that. I th I think this should work. And then we have another one covering also this area where they can access and then we have another one right over here and then we have two in here as well we have an animal uh, a talking point here as well to what animal was that okay the asian small clot otter we do not have education for the tapirs then no i don't think we have an animal talking point for that so now if we look at the bengal tires we have one right over here how <laughs> doing i was wondering oh my goodness it is so freaking busy here i really do hope that this is going to be fixed at some point when we have more animals on this side then and hopefully it will no one like absolutely no one is interested in seeing the beautiful tigers actually swim right over here i do know like obviously if we would make this path bare or something this would not, not be happening, most likely. But I refuse to change this. I love this area too much. It looks too good, too beautiful. I don't want to change it. I really do not. <laughs> so you know what we're going to do? We're going to do, as I saw in a previous episode, like I, I do not want to rush things. I, wanna, I want everything to look good. I want everything to run well. Maybe we can have a quick look here at some other heat maps before we gonna start. Like, I, I think we're just gonna work on the Shavalsky's horse area here and make it all look nice and pretty. The animal welfare, what, what shall we check right over here? I think the temperatures, I did add a few coolers here and there, but I think that is definitely something we need to work on because um, the guests are just overheating <laughs> at this point. I feel really sad for them, like, either they got, like, tons of rain on their heads, or it's just freaking hot. <laughs> There's nothing in between. 30 degrees right now. Uh, water coverage? Ooh, is that even... Oh, it is, actually. Oh, wow, that's, that's covering nicely. So all the water bodies are covered here, which is a good thing. Our electricity is well. Uh, someone did point out that if you would add like uh, green energy next to it, it would definitely also save money. So first it's going to use the green energy and then later on it's going to use power. So that is also a really nice way of saving money, but also, of course, just a better way of uh, producing electricity and using that. So I, I do want to look into that in the future, but I, I honestly do not think that we have that much space for that. So that is going to be a thing, but just having some solar panels or some wind turbines and stuff uh, would be really cool if we would also be focusing on that. Buildings, all facilities, what do we have? Oh, this is just where everything is. Negative impact on guests, I think. It's all good, but we do have issues. I, I see a lot of bins and stuff being broken, and, and this is also broken. And our, our mechanics should be the ones fixing that. How many do we have? And they have a very efficient workload, it says. Should we? Maybe. We can, we can change their... their uh, we'll expect a higher salary. We'll not refund the training cost. We can select. We, you see? Ride breakdowns, vending machine inspections, no mechanic research, vandalism, ride inspection. So we could potentially just have... Uh, I'm going to hire one for that. I, I just want to see if that is going to change anything. So if I just unpause this, I'm going to select you. And I only want you to fix the, all, all the all the stuff that are vandalized. Because I find so many bins all the time and then I click them and then I replace them. But maybe, maybe this is going to help. Maybe it will. I'm going to put you on the everything roster. Let's just see. Let's just see how that will go. Okay, now we have security and crime. We have a security guard walking over here. We have some cameras. We have a camera right over here. We should 
actually add a camera here as well. Oh, there is a, ba a bench finalized as well here. But I, I do think that we should add a few more security cameras around there. Then we have the guest education, which... What are you guys... Oh... You are like standing right in the middle there. Wait a second. No, no, no. We, we, should, we should do something about that because... Okay, I feel like... I'm just gonna, can I click that? Yes. Okay, this is an educational speaker. I'm gonna put you a little bit to here. And then this one, can we can we select that one? Yes. Okay, and then this is the Malaysian tape here. Okay, now it is actually going over each other. How should we do? Like, we should at least make sure that, that at least one way <laughs> it should be covered, right? I mean, these guests are like <laughs> standing exactly in the middle. Isn't that like, just super annoying? Oh, and now they turn green. Okay, so th I think that works. But you <laughs> can't you just move? I'm just gonna move <laughs> you here. There you go. Now you're educated. There you go. Now you're educated. But it, as soon as they go over here or like walk over here, it, it's a little bit odd, isn't it? But, but I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. Do we have any more other red guests? I don't think so. No, I think that's it. This is good. Guest needs. Now, that is surely a thing. Uh, happiness. Energy. Um, everything. There are some orange guests. It's not bad. The happiness. There are some red guests at the end there is actually quite a mixture of not so happy guests orange and green it's not like oh that particular i feel like this particular area might be the worst and maybe the entrance i am not sure uh energy we just checked hunger uh ooh. That doesn't look bad at all. Uh, maybe a tiny bit over here. Other than that, it, it really doesn't look that bad. And then thirst should be the same, I think. We could maybe add like a vending machine. I don't know. I, I just want to build a restaurant here, maybe. Yeah, I, I think I want to go for that. Toilets is a good point. We might want to add some toilets right over here. The rhino habitat. I don't think it's that bad. And our staff all looks green. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not that unhappy with that. I think this is uh, pretty decent. But of course, like information stands and stuff is definitely something we need to focus on. But for now... You know what? We are just going to build a nice area right over here so we can give the Shavalski's horse a nice hat. Wait, why is this one not turned on? Oh, I did not select. Oh, oh, but education. Wait, huh? That one is also not. Oh, what did you do? <laughs> why did you not do that, lady? That is just bad. There, there's no education here at all. Do we even have donation? Yes, okay, we do have donation boxes. All right, that should be good. But yeah, let's just make sure before we are going to see some cute baby horses uh, that we have a beautiful habitat right over here for the Shavalski's horse.
Now I did forget to record a little tiny bit that I did more <laughs> in this area. But hopefully you guys will not mind. Uh, we have another little restaurant. More in like a barn style right over here. And uh, oh man, just let's go back just a little tiny bit here. We have the Bengal Tigers here on your right. And then we walk towards here. And then you right away already see this little uh, uh, restaurant area. And uh, it, for this one, I did change um, the idea. I did not have like the duplicated shops, but I uh, it makes me regret it a little bit because people do not want hot dogs, but they do want chief beef. So maybe we should just add another chief beef on this side. And I did the same here with the uh, uh, slush and energy. But only the slush is super busy and the other is not. So maybe we should just make another slush here and then another chief beef here. It is basically the same idea with the other restaurant we have at the Fennec Fox Habitat. With a little seizing area, as you can see, it's not super busy. So I think this is enough. And there are tons of benches right over here. So for the guests to rest... There is a lot of benches for them to just sit down and enjoy the beauty of this habitat for the Chevalsky's horse. Uh, I did run out of money, but uh, it's already uh, doing a lot better right over here. And uh, as you can see, man, the difference with just having a lot of the tropical... That was a little bit weird. Tropical trees and stuff around here now they do have way too much grass like really a lot but uh, it doesn't really matter too much and i'm happy with that because i just want to have a little bit more freedom still uh, so uh, it all looks all right and in the end i feel like this is just long grass with some flowers so why would they not like some long grass with some flowers i mean what is the deal here so I did create like this extra little shelter building for the guests because, well, as you could tell, there is so much rain coming down all the time. So I felt like that might be just nice for a guest to have a little bit more, even though they can also go inside here. There are some more benches on the sides here as well. And then on the inside, we have more benches, but then in the middle, we had them first on the sides. And then right over here, we have this little education point area. Oh, we need to connect this one still. I did already... Okay, no, we do not have an educator assigned. So we should just go to our education. Animal talks, there's no educator, okay? March, June, October, December. Oh, look at that horse right over there. I think I'm going to put this one on January. And then we just need to put this one in the everything work zone right over here oh we did not do that with a lot of things but i think this is already all right so now if we go back here to the animal talks this one is open for january and uh yeah okay let's go back into the barn right over here because i, I did try to give this a little extra touch uh so this would be the box that the educator would bring and then when they are Oh man, this looks so beautiful. When they would do their talk, uh, hopefully there will be some Chevalsky horses sticking their hat through and then the guests on their guidance of the animal uh, educator, they would be able to, to give a carrot. I mean, that's just a cute idea, I guess. And then this would be like, oh, look at these. Oh, these are the oldest horses that we have or something like that. I mean, look at this face. <laughs> Isn't that just super funny? I will uh, share these one in my Discord server on the uh, billboards chat room so you guys can uh, can use them as well if you want to. Um, we, we should be uh, getting some baby horses at some point. Wait, we can actually just see that right over here. <laughs> we have uh, all three female horses all being pregnant at this point, but we cannot see when that would be. Which is a penny, but so we do need to click the horses. May year 24, this was the male. And then we have the female right over here. 
December 24? Wasn't there also one in 23? That's this one. All right, so October year 23. So that should actually be very soon. Man, I am really liking this whole area. I absolutely love it. I'm not really sure if this is the best way to give them water. I, I feel it's not because they, they are empty quite a lot. And especially if we get more, I think we should just assign a keeper. But as soon as we get more horses, uh, I might need to add a water pump or something like that somewhere. All right, okay. The the uh, staff area in the backside. I don't know. I just really love it. This is the same building you can also download and that I used at the uh, Bengal Tiger backstage area. You can just see it a little bit right over here, which I just really like. It's it's in the small little details, I guess. So of course, from the backside. Right over here, they can uh, enter this staff area, but we still need to work on that. This is the research center that I did replace. Oh, talking about research. I mean, you should be doing a lot of research already. Since it's so close, it just goes so fast. So we already almost completed it all, which is just amazing. So we can at least right away put the food quality on food Grade three, let's go for that. And is there like any, I, I don't think so, honestly. If we just go for Shavalski's horse, um, oh, we could actually have a melon feeder. But this scarecrow feeder is also really cute. Um, if we just like maybe add uh, this one right over here. I like this one. It looks so beautiful. Oh, they're, they're, oh, we're so lucky. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy that we're not going to miss out on that. Oh, you're going to eat that first. Um, is that all right if I would just wait for you to be, I don't want to miss out on it. I mean, it's our first baby horse. Oh my goodness. Look at them <laughs> being here. Oh, I do really like that. Okay, I, I don't really like this clipping, but I do really like it that you're all just here trying to eat some food. Okay, you should be done. So, are you going to lay down? Or, oh, oh, look at that! It's a little girl. Oh, why are you not happy? Oh, with the plants, yes. <laughs> and the cleanliness. Oh my goodness, look at this little one. Hi, welcome to our zoo. Oh, she's so pretty. She really, really is. Oh, they're even going to use this one right away. Look how amazing this looks, guys. Oh man, I'm so happy with these horses. I, I was not like that excited for it, but now that I have them in the game, I feel like they're just super amazing. Right, okay. This is all already completed, which is just perfect. So what I could do now is just remove this research center because this one we do not need uh, right now. You know what we should? It's about to have offspring. Oh, oh, we're so like, oh, look at a little face. <laughs> oh man. I love these otters so much as well. They're just so cute. Are you gonna... Wait, was the offspring imminent? It is imminent. Show us what you got. <laughs> Go on. Oh, look at that little face. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're run <laughs> running away. Come on. No. Yes, there we go. It's also a little girl. Oh, so many little girls at this point. Okay, but uh, what I wanted to do, I, I love these guys so much. What I wanted to do before we wrap up this episode, I want to go to their exhibits, the exhibits, because, I mean, we got these exhibits for some more money, but uh, social health, oh no, <laughs> what? Why did I not get a message of that? Oh, oh, young adult, young adult, adult. Adult, young adults, right. Okay, 
I feel like we should just, uh, what can we do with them? Send them to trading center. Okay, so this should be good. I think now the two adults will be fine with that. And now we can go to, oh <laughs> my goodness, okay. Adult, the young adults are all going to the training center. Uh, no, wait, I need one male. So which one was the... Well, I'm, I'm going to guess that was this one. Yeah, I'm just going to guess that. And then we can go to here. Like, we can sell all those exhibit animals. Young adults. These are all young adults. I'm just going to keep... I I know that I should be checking if the, this will be offspring or not. I actually do not know if that is a, a thing. Uh, stat book, social, current mate, Jamie. So did I keep Jamie in here? <laughs> yes, okay, current mate. Okay, I, th I think this was good. Did they... Okay, this is the adult, that's the adult. So the others are all going... To, oh my gosh, there are so many. Why did we not get a message of that? All right, male and female. So th yes, these are all the exhibits. So that should be good. So now we can go to your training center and we can just... Oh my goodness, 10,000. Wow, that's good. Oh, I love that. Okay, I actually never really paid attention to exhibits, but that was actually just an amazing way of earning a lot of money. Now I see what you guys meant with like, Get some exhibits because they can earn you quite some money. And they do. They really do. Man, this is just amazing. Thank you all so much for that tip. So we have a little baby horse. We have a beautiful area right over here. And uh, I will obviously upload some stuff to the workshop. So make sure to check the collection list in the description of this video. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it. And of course, do let me know if you guys enjoyed this uh, next episode with... Well, not... More of like management and stuff, like we did not really add another animal in this one, but um, hopefully, are you sleeping? Hopefully you guys still enjoyed, so do let me know in the comments down below, of course. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.